What's up, boys? Konnichiwa. This is your boy, Master Luciano, and today we're, do we're gonna I'm gonna be doing my Xbox One game collection right here. I have a lot of games. Just look at all these games, boys. I think I have somewhere around like I have like five digital games, and I have like I don't know like I don't know how many physical games I got here, but I got a lot. I'm almost. I think I'm somewhere around like sixty. To 70 games, if you're wondering, guys. 60 to 70 games I got here. Or if it's possible. But anyway, let's get started right here. Because just look at all of this pile right there. Look at all these games I got here and all that stuff. But anyway, let's do this. First, we're going to start with digital. Which I wrote this in a piece of paper right here. In this piece of post-it post note. Alright, anyway, here we go. First game, GTA 5, awesome game. Everyone knows about this game. I love the, I love the game. It, like the graphics, the gameplay, the idea of three characters playing as three characters and all stuff. Amazing game. Highly recommend you it if you don't have a game. Anyway, next game, Super Hot. You know, we shoot those red guys and all that stuff. Good game. I enjoyed it. Like I like the graphics and the idea and all that stuff. A pretty cool game. Next game is One Leaves. Nah. It's an, it's like a horror game. It's just only like one jump scare and also, but it has an eerie atmosphere and all that stuff. But like, man, game. It's like it reminds me of like Temple Run or something. Well, Battle Ages strategy game, um, Battle Island strategy game. It's just like Clash of Clans or Boom Beach or whatever it is. But anyway, they're good game. They're they're good games. Kind of like them. I, I I do like them. I should get more into it and all that stuff. But anyway, here we go. Let's start with the games because I just got a lot of games right here to show you all. The first game is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I got the Dark Edition if you're wondering, the new one. This game is amazing if you're wondering guys. I enjoyed this game and all this stuff. But anyway, look what I got here boys. I got my night vision goggles. You guys want to see them on on me? I bet everyone wants, that wants, to, see me on, uh, wants to see me on with, these ba ba with this big baby. And if you're wondering, I got this for $200 in GameStop, if you're wondering. Most of my birthday money to get this thing, the, the night vision goggles and that stuff. Can you see me? Hope you can guys see me. It, it's far away. When I when I put on my, the night vision goggles and that stuff, like, the things are far away, if you're wondering. Like, a few feet away or something. But anyway, they're amazing, these goggles, if you're wondering. They work perfectly. Amazing. Ooh. Right, I highly recommend you if you guys want a collector's edition or stuff, but it's pretty expensive for me. very expensive. But where is my glasses? Oh, right, here we go. Well, as I, ah, uh, yes, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is an amazing game. I love the graphics and the gameplay and all that stuff, but like the things that I don't like about this game, there's two things that I don't like about this game there's no zombie mode, I don't know why there's no zombie mode in this game. And the other thing that I don't like is that you gotta sign in to play this game and all that stuff. And I know it, this is like a popular game for like multiplayer and all that stuff, but like I haven't played the multiplayer or anything. But I heard it's very toxic when I when I went to buy this thing. But anyway, amazing game, amazing game. Mm, there's my water. Take a sip. Okay, good to go. Let me leave it right here. I just hope it doesn't touch my night vision goggles, baby. I don't want those babies to get ruined. All right, ne the next game is SSX 360 game, if you're wondering. But um, good game. Not as good as Tricky or anything. But if you're wondering, it's a it's backwards compatible and all that stuff. What uh, every t I'm gonna say this every time when I do a collection video and all that stuff. I definitely consider them uh, the 360 games, both Xbox One and 360 games, because it came on 360 and all that stuff, and it's backwards compatible. I will always continue saying this, but anyway, good game. I like. I I, I, I don't feel it that much as a sex to me and all that stuff. Like, like everything has changed dramatically and all that stuff. There's swing suits and all that stuff. It's not like a big competitive race and all that stuff. It's basically like like a smaller race and smaller league and all that stuff. But like, um, good game. Not as good as SSX. Uh, tricky. But anyway, 
Next game, here's a bland ass here's a bland case, a bland GameStop case, and this is Midnight Club Los Angeles, baby! The complete edition. I got this on Black Friday, boys, and you're gonna see another other games that I got on Black Friday if you weren't yesterday. But anyway, I enjoy this game. This is an amazing Midnight Club. Yup, I, I I I love Midnight Club if you want to, but I I hope. I kind of wish Rockstar would make a new Midnight Club, but I don't think it's going to happen or something. But anyway, it's an amazing game. I love racing and I love the customization and all that stuff. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool with this game. Get this game if you guys want to revisit Midnight Club. But it's backwards compatible, which is a good thing. I like the idea. And how come x Payne 3 is not backwards compatible, Rockstar? It should have been backwards compatible. Like... We had, you did not make uh, a new Max Payne game, Max Payne 4, but I don't, I don't know when they're going to make a Max Payne 4, but I, I think I heard they're going to be making a Max Payne 4, but whatever or something, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't know what happened, but I hope they're backwards compatible. hope they bring that backwards compatible Max Payne 3, but I don't think it's going to happen or something, I don't know, but Minute Club, Los Angeles, I love it. Amazing game. I like the graphics. They, they do hold out if you're wondering and all that stuff. Alright, next game, Street Fighter 4. Amazing game, better than Street Fighter 5, but what I like about this game is like, you know, I know the, the graphics are okay and all that stuff for right now, are okay and all that stuff, but it's still an enjoyable game, if you're wondering, guys. I like it. Fighting with Ryu, Ken, and all this classic, all the classic fighters and all that stuff from the Street Fighter series. I like Street Fighters. I'm a, a Street Fighter. I'm a fan of it. Next game, another bland case, and this is, what contains here is uh, Pure, if you're wondering, it's a uh, ATV game. I thought, it, when I when I first bought this game, I thought it was like a sports game. It's an ATV game, but anyway, amazing game, I like it, like, the gra I like the graphics and all that stuff, and they, they do hold out pretty well, That that's actually an LOL, and I got that for two bucks, if you're wondering, Pure, but, and... What else? Um, I like the idea of how like you can customize your ATV and all that stuff, and choose your characters, and change their outfits and all that stuff. It's like SSX, like on an ATV and all that stuff. And I like the idea of like building your own ATV and all that stuff. Like it's pretty cool, pretty cool game. I, I kind of wish they made a sequel, but unfortunately they didn't. They didn't. I hope I I kind of wanted them to make Pure Two, but. Unfortunately, Black, uh, I think it's called Black Rock. Yeah, Black Rock Studios, I think it got shut down. I think it got bankrupt. I don't know what happened that they got bankrupt. But they're, they were known for the racing games like Split Second, Pure. I think the ATV games on the PS2 or something. I don't know. But, um, yep, they're great. And I think they're owned by Disney. And I don't think Disney's making games. I kind of wish Disney would, make, would be making games and all stuff. Like, I know the Disney games are like... Kingdom Hearts and all that stuff, but is there anything else that you can do on um, Disney uh, for like a game or something? Like, I think you own BlackRock Studio Disney. And plus, Disney is very rich if you're wondering. Like, they're billionaires if you're wondering. Like, for like, they're owning everything. Like, they own Marvel, they own, um, I think, National Geographic or something. I don't know. I know they own Marvel. I know it for a fact because of the Disney Plus and all that stuff. I have not gotten Disney Plus yet nor anything. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, next game. Bland Case again. And this is GTA San Andreas, baby. Oh, my boy, Big Smoke, boy. My Big Smoke. I'll have two number nines. A number nine large. A number six with extra dip. A number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. My boy Big Smoke, he's a meme if you're wondering. He's a big meme in this game. He's, a, he's like the memeiest character in, in, in video game history. Like the memeiest. Like he, the, the memes of him will never die, but anything. But. This is a freaking amazing game. I love this game. My favorite game of all, one of my favorite games of all time, if you're wondering. And Big Smoke, he's a huge meme, if you're wondering. And plus, do you know who acted the villain? Uh, Frank Tenpenny's the villain. And do you know who acted him? Samuel Jackson, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. You know, the one who acted Frozone. And, like, he was in also, um, what else? Kong Skull, Skull Island, if you're wondering. 
Frozen, my boy Frozone from The Incredibles and all that stuff. But anyway, um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, it still holds up, holds up for the graphics and all that stuff, but like, I enjoy the game. Like, the things I really love about this game is like, like, it's better than GTA 5, if you're wondering. GTA San Andreas is the best, is the best of the GTAs. It kills GTA 5 anytime because let me tell you something. Like, there's a lot of things you can do in GTA San Andreas than in 5. You can go to Cluck and Mill, you can go to Burger Shot, you can go to. You can paint graffitis, you can, you can get your gang members if you're wondering. Like, get your gang members on the side and all that stuff. And what else? Um. I think you could play basketball. You can do gang wars and all stuff. Like, there's a lot of things you can do. Also, there's a lot. There's customization in this game. They also have nitrous and all that stuff on your cars. Um, you can do like um, all those types of missions, like vigilante missions, paramedic missions, all that stuff. I just hope GTA 6 would be kind of like this. If you want, like GTA San Andreas, like all the big things, so you can make it more like a realistic GTA. If you're wondering, guys, like. This game is just amazing. Pick this up if you have an Xbox One or a 360. But anyway, it's backwards compatible. Get this game if you're wondering. Get this game if you guys want to get a GTA game. I also recommend you getting GTA 5. Well, it's not as good as San Andreas, but still, you can get them. Whatever. But anyway, let's get into the list. Speaking about GTA, GTA 4, Bland Case, which comes with GTA 4. And the rap and episodes from Liberty City, baby. Yep, episodes from Liberty City is um is the DLC of GTA 4 and all that stuff. And like adds more backstory into Liberty City and all that stuff. But anyway, GTA 4 is an amazing game. Episodes from Liberty City City is also amazing and all that stuff. But um I completed episodes from Liberty City, The Last of the Dam, and The Ballad of Gay Tony, but I have not completed GTA 4 because I literally went in the, like, I was doing some missions in GTA 4, I don't know where was I in GTA 4 before, I think it was like after the, when you rob the, the drugs and all that stuff. Okay, sorry, I had to take a, a sip. And what else, um, you have to steal the drugs and all that stuff, and living in Algon Algonquin or something. And what else? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, like, when I come back to this game, since I can complete episodes from Blue City, it sends me all the way to the back and I'll, I'll, all the way to the start and all stuff. I don't know why that frustrated me, but this game's amazing, if you're wondering. Like, the gra like I think the graphics holds, holds up today, if you're wondering. Still holds up. And what else? Um, I, like the, I like the weapon choices and all that stuff. Well... Not as good as GTA San Andreas, but still an amazing game. I think it's better than, five, uh, than GTA 5 because let me tell you something. Like, the story... Sorry. Like, the story feels like it's dark and all that stuff. And, like, Nico Bellic had a rough life, of course, and all that stuff. And, like, like, I like the idea of a dark story. Like, it was very dark and gloomy and all that stuff. It's just so memorable. And what else? Roman Bellic is also a meme, if you're wondering, like, of the, let's go bowling, and then all that stuff. And then all that stuff, but, Roman Bellic, he's very funny, if you're wondering, and all that stuff. But anyway, next game. Let's get on to the list, baby, because I don't want to hold you off and board you off, baby. Let's do this. Next game, let's do this. Rapid fire. Next game is another bland case, and this is Bully. Bully. I got this for Black Friday, baby. Black Friday. I don't know why it's still $25 this game. But anyway, amazing game. Like, it takes place around the school, if you're wondering, guys. It's like GTA, but in the school. I love the, I, I love the idea. I remember when my sister used to live, uh, used to live with us and all that stuff, like, um, her friend, like, her friend, her friends, like, have an X, have an, had a, have an Xbox 360 and all that stuff, and... They had this game, they had this game on the 360, if you're wondering, guys. And I played the crap out of it before. Alright, played a little bit of it, and I loved it. And I still love this game. Bully is an amazing game. Like, like you can socialize with people, interact, and all stuff. I love the idea of the school. I hope they make a Bully 2. We need a new Bully game. Because, listen, it's been like 13 years, Rockstar. You need a new Bully game. We should really need a we really need a new bully game. Uh, I would be I would be so happy. 
Hope it takes place in like in college or high school, whatever it is. The new bully game or what? I, I don't know what happened, but anyway, amazing game. I love bully. Highly recommend you it if you guys want to get a, a backwards compatible game and all that stuff. But anyway, here's another game that I got in Black Friday, of course. It's called, um, it's another blank case, and this is Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official, the official game of the movie. The official game of the movie. Yep, it's called like that. Best movie game of, uh, I've played, if you're wondering, guys. Like, I don't think the graph, the graphics... Are outdated if you're wondering guys because it's an old game it's like it came out 2005 and it's based on the movie you guys remember the movie the 2005 King Kong movie I watched that movie and it was a good movie it was pretty long if you're wondering guys it was pretty long and um I like I like I like King Kong this is this is a good this is a good move this is one of the best movie games if you're wondering like I love the idea of the island and all that stuff like I know the controls are also outdated, outdated of course, also, but like, what makes up to this game is like the, the creatures and like the eerie so, some sort of atmosphere. It's like a survival game, kind of like, also as well like horror, like gives you like a bit of jump scares, like the screeches of the bugs, of course, and the crawling bugs and scorpions and all that stuff around here in this game, all those creepy animals but anyway pick this up if you guys want this if you guys want that game hey if you guys want it in GameStop next game another bland case if you're wondering and this is Far Cry 3 this game's amazing if you're wondering guys I think this is be this is better than 4 but 4 is also a good game Far Cry 4 of course and all stuff but anyway I spoiled uh, I spoiled it if you're wondering but let me just find it all right here it is this, this is it this is it. Far Cry 4. Good game. I like the I like I like this game and all that stuff, but like um and it's pretty enjoyable, like customizing your weapons and I like Kirat and all that stuff. I've got Far Cry 5, but that's on my PlayStation. I have not got Primal yet. Nor New Dawn nor anything. But anyway, um Far Cry 4. Good game. Good game. I like the villain of course, but Alright, but here we go. Far Cry 3. Amazing game, if you're wondering. It's the, um, I like this better than 4, if you're wondering. But I like 4, though. But let me tell you something. The, it has the best villains of all time, if you're wondering. Vos Montenegro. One of the best villains of all time I've ever seen in a game, if you're wondering. Like, I love, I, I love the voice acting and the acting and the game. The, the graphics still hold up, holds up, I guess. Uh... Holds up, I guess. Look, and then what else? The gameplay also feels smooth, of course, and that stuff. But like, Vas Montenegro, one of the best villains of all time. I gotta say, during Vas Montenegro, and I gotta say, I always thought Vas Montenegro was acted by Michael Pena. Like, think about the accent. Compare the accent between Michael Pena and Vas Montenegro. Well, but Vas Montenegro isn't acted by Michael Pena. He was acted by another. Michael, I don't know what his name, Michael something, but that actor is from Canada, he's Canadian, if you're wondering, but great game, this game's amazing. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Anyway, next game, a bland case right here, and what contains in here is Call of Duty Ghost. Good game, my least favorite of the Call of Duty games, but, um... I like the idea of the dog, of course, and all that stuff, and like, you know, he's your partner and all that stuff, and all that stuff, but like, okay, good good, good Call of Duty, uh, but my least favorite, but you know, anyway, let's do this, let's do this with the rest of the piles, I got a lot of games if you're wondering, I gotta show off. Next game is Call of Duty WW2, amazing game, I love WW2 if you're wondering, guys, World War II. It's pretty good if you're wondering. I like the campaign and the idea and the, and the zombies. Zombies is pretty cool if you're wondering. I love the zombies. I love the zombies. Like, you know, with someone, a Nazi, of course, who likes, you know, mutated, there's uh, mutated, there's the soldiers and all stuff turning into zombies in the, zo in the zombies camp, in the zombies game, when you play zombies and all that stuff. But like, I like the idea. I, I, I love the graphics if you're wondering. It feels very intense. It feels like, I'm like in World War II, if you're wondering, in this game, but like, 
Amazing game, if you're wondering. I highly recommend you win. It's like 20, you can get this game for 20 bucks. Next game, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. It's like a GTA if you're wondering in Hong Kong and all that stuff, but anyway, it's an amazing game. The things I don't like about this game is just that, like, you know, there's no gun store, of course, and all that stuff, but I kind of wish they made a sequel on this game, Square Enix, because it's a pretty good game. Like, I love the Kung Fu, like, the combat and all that stuff. I kind of wish GTA would make a uh, one of the best melee combats, if you want. Like, this game is, like, has one of the great, has, has a great melee combat, if you want, like, doing Kung Fu, like, kicking, punching, roundhouse kicking, and, like, all that grabbing, and... All the specific details you can do in combat in this game. Just amazing, that game. But anyway, next game, Mark McMorris, Infinite Air. Cool game, it's a snowboarding game, Maximum Games. This is, I think this is their best Maximum, this is their best game they can make. And all that stuff, but good game. Not, well, good game. Not as good as, I love more as the sex though, but, eh game this, that's like the best game that they make but anyway here we go next game Forza Horizon 2 awesome game I have not completed this game yet and all that stuff I have to get back to this game and all that stuff I love like the customization the graphics and like traveling around it Italy and all this stuff and driving fast cars going off-road and like Forza games are really improving their graphics and all this stuff. I just love this game. I love this game so much. I love Forza Horizon 2. Alright, anyway, next game is Minecraft! Everyone loves Minecraft, baby! Oh yeah, I like Minecraft. Good game, if you want, but I had to get back to this game or something. It's been a while I've been playing Minecraft and all this stuff, but like, I like, I love the graphics and like, you know exploring and all that stuff, but anyway, and using your own, unleashing your imagination and all that stuff, but anyway, good game. I love that game. Get this game if you guys don't have it. Anyway, next game, Song of the Deep. It's, it's, a, relax, it's a relaxing game and all that stuff, like, um, you go in a submarine finding your father, of course, and all that stuff, like, it's, I like the soundtrack, like, it's so soothing. Makes me feel like in a spa and all that stuff. I like the... It's very colorful. I love colorful things. And of course, I love the graphics. They're just so beautiful. If you want. They're just beautiful in this game. Very colorful. Get this game. If you guys want a soothing game with a nice with nice music, of course, and all that stuff. And like exploring in the ocean and all the depths of the ocean and all that stuff. But anyway... Next game is Payday 2, Prime Wave Edition. Robbing banks and all that stuff, and the graphics are amazing and all that stuff. This game's amazing. Um, I love, like, um, I kind of wish they made a sequel and all that stuff. Payday uh, hope they make a Payday 3 or something. I love, like, customizing your weapon, customizing your masks, and choosing your gang, and all that stuff. This game's amazing. I just love this game. I, sh I sh think I should get the DLC for this, like, I have not gotten the DLC for it, like, for example, like, the Japanese dude, and, like, the, well, I know, there's two Japanese people, I am talking about the Japanese dude, the, the one of, the one that says, like, Wakata, and then all that stuff, and he, it has, like, some sort of red, red and white mask, and all that stuff, and what else, Tony Montana, he's in this game, and all that stuff. Pretty cool character, pretty cool game if you're wondering. I love robbing banks in, the, in this game and all that stuff. Enjoyable. Next game, the Lego Movie Video Game. I got this with my Xbox One. This is my first game, boys, if you're wondering. Because, you know, it comes with this type of behind, of course. I got this with my Xbox One and all that stuff. But anyway, I love this game, if you're wondering. And speaking about amazing, everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome when you live in our dreams. And of course, I've seen the second movie, and that was amazing. I love that movie. I hope they make a Lego Movie 3 sometime and all that stuff, but... It didn't done as... It didn't done well in terms of, like, money for, like, for the Lego Movie 2, but... 
The Lego Movie 2 is still an amazing movie. I thought it was an improvement on the on the first movie, if you're wondering, guys, and all that stuff. But I'm not saying the first movie is bad and all that stuff. I'm saying it's amazing. I love the first movie as well. Like, the music, and it's just funny and all that stuff. And, like, and they also made a game, if you want, in the second movie and all that stuff. And what else? Um, I love building things. I like the graphics. Very child kitty ish and all that stuff. But kind of too old for Legos, but I don't really mind for the games. Take another sip. I'm thirsty. <sighs> Refreshing. Next game is Middle Earth Shadow War Gold Edition. $10, the steel book I got here. I love steel books, if you're wondering. It's just a beautiful, it's just, it's very amazing. It's an amazing game, like, I have not played Shadow of Mordor. This is the sequel. I don't know why I hit up on the sequel before I got before 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 the before the first game, the first game in the series and all stuff. But anyway, I, this game's amazing. If you're wondering, like, it's like it's like I don't know Dragon Age or like um, The Witcher and all this stuff. It's like a pretty cool game. If you're wondering, dragons and like slaying. Goblins or something. I don't know what ha I don't know what it is and all that stuff. But like, like the game plays smooth. The controls are pretty good, I guess, or something, and all that stuff. Amazing game. Get this game if you guys want to get a steel book. Ten dollars. I got this for ten dollars in GameStop. Next game is Cartoon Network Battle Crushers. This game's amazing. I love, I love Cartoon Network and all that stuff. Like you could play as. Gumball, you can play as Rick and Mort- no, not Rick and Morty. Mordecai and Rigby, and Clarence, and Steven, and Uncle Grandpa, and I forgot, I forgot from the Adventure Time series, I forgot about them, I love them as well, but like, this game's amazing, like, I forgot, like, it's very colorful, I just love, like, you can beat your enemies and all that stuff, and... Like, the gameplay feels so smooth, of course, and all that stuff. I like the story in this game. Get this game. If you guys want to get back into Cartoon Cartoon Network and all that stuff, get that game. Next game is Saints Row 4, Re-Elected, and Get Out of Hell. Get Out of Hell's decent. Saints Row 4 is amazing because it's, it's hilarious, of course, and all that stuff. It's like all those crazy weapons you can do, like alien weapons and, like, Power and all stuff. It's like an infant. It's like infamous on the Xbox one if you're ordering guys yeah, It's like infamous and all that stuff. Like, well get out of hell's decent I don't really care about get out of hell because you're in hell and all that stuff. I like more Re-elected of course re-elected. They're both amazing games if you're wondering. You have two games on one desk if you're wondering I don't know how many games. I think I have more than I think I have I think I have somewhere around 70 games if you're wondering on the Xbox one I have a lot if you're wondering. I have a lot. I don't know how much I got I think I have somewhere around 70. Uh, um, I don't know. Let's just forget the nut. Let's just forget how much, how much a game's like. Let's just forget the thing, how many games I got here. But let's just get going on the, on the collection. Because I got a lot of games. I think I have somewhere around 70. But anyway. Next game, Battlefield 4. This game, I like, I, I like, I like Battlefield if you're wondering, guys. But I heard it's disappointing, of course, and all that stuff. But... Pretty cool game. I don't know what happened because I remember I completed the first mission, of course, and all stuff. And like, there's like some sort of loading screen or whatever it is or something. All stuff, but like, eh. Okay, Battlefield, if you're wondering. But anyway, uh, next game is a Killer Instinct Combo Breaker Pack, a fighting game, of course, and all stuff. It's owned by Rare, if you're wondering. You have Killer Instinct and Rare Eat Play. Like, I love the fighting and the controls and the graphics and all that stuff. It's basically Mortal Kombat, if you're wondering. But only on Xbox One, I guess. Pretty cool game. Next game, Forza Motorsport 6. I love racing games. Awesome game. I love Forza. They're improving graphics every time in Forza, if you're wondering all that stuff. I do want to give Forza Motorsport 7, Horizon 4, and all that stuff. Hope they make Forza Horizon 5, of course, and all that stuff. I just hope it takes place in Japan. Uh, if, it, if it takes place in Japan, oh yeah, baby, Tokyo Drift, and all that stuff. Hope you guys get ready for Tokyo Drift if we if we settle off in Japan and Forza Horizon 5, baby. 
uh, well, but who knows what other, uh, what, are, what other places we got for Forza Horizon 5, but let's see what happens. Hope it takes place in Japan, uh, because I want to feel that I'm in Japan, of course, and all that stuff. So I want to go to Japan and all that stuff. But anyway, like, the graphics and the customization is just amazing, and the cars are amazing and all that stuff. Everything's, ama everything's amazing in this game. Next game, Transformers Devastation. Transformer game, Transformers game of the 80s and all stuff. Good game, I enjoyed it. Pretty cool, it's very colorful and like, I like the, I like the old style animation of the, of the Transformers of the 80s and all stuff, but like, pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Next game, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 with a, a, with arcade series, Galaga, Pac-Man, Dig Dug. Four games that want this for $20. Get this game. Classic. This game is a classic. These games are classics. Awesome game. Get this on Xbox One, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. You guys should really re revisit the classics. <clears throat> Next game, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Good game. I like it. It's a pretty enjoyable game, if you're wondering. But it, it says Game of the Year. I don't know why it says Game of the Year. Like... I know the things that I hate about this game are like the controls and us. It feels weird, and the this guy, the older brother, die. The older brother dies. That's the bud. It's a pretty cool game if you're wondering. It's a, it's an adventure game if you're wondering. It's about like their father got sick. They need to get their medicine for the father from a specific tree or something. Then they, they make a long journey ahead. That's the but anyway. Here we go. Next game: Angry Birds Star Wars. Pretty cool game if you guys like uh, Angry Birds and Star Wars and all stuff. Pretty cool. I like it. I gotta get back into that game. I have not completed it yet. Next game. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. Comes with three games. Assassin's Creed China, Russia, and India. Yep, they're 2D, uh, 2D, um, 2D platformer Assassin's Creed games and all stuff. They're pretty cool. I like them. They're good games if you're wondering. I got this for 20 bucks. Oh, no. I got this for 30 bucks before in GameStop. I don't know when. But it was it was it was a while ago. It was a few years. It was a few years ago when I got this game. But anyway, they're good games. Like I like the graphics of course and all that stuff. Next game is Skyland Superchargers. I don't care about the Skylanders anymore because it's dead this series. I want to sell those Skylanders, but my mom doesn't want to and all that stuff. I want my money back. And I hope there's and I hope there's someone out there, someone who wants Skylanders and of course and all that stuff. Well, I don't know what will happen in the future and all that stuff. Maybe it's gonna become valuable the Skylanders and all that stuff, but I don't really care about the Skylanders anymore. It's dead the series. Next game, FIFA 15 soccer, of course and all that stuff. I don't really care about sports games, of course, but I'm a huge fan of soccer. But, um, EA is one of the worst companies uh, for video games right now. I don't know why, because let me tell you something, they're caring about the money. And, like, they're putting their effort and time into Ultimate Team, if you're wondering, guys, for the sports games and also, like, Madden and, like, FIFA and all that stuff. But, so uh, soccer, I don't really care. I, I like soccer, like watching it i'm a huge fan of like i like to watch it but not like playing it like in the game or like in a or in the like in, in the gym and all that stuff because i don't really care about sports but anyway it's because well i'm not saying i hate feet i'm not saying i hate soccer but i love I, i'm just not a fan of it I'm not spent not a fan of sports speak about fifa fifa 14 like i said next game is doom this game's amazing. Very bloody, of course, and all that stuff. I love the uh, I love the combat, of course, and all that stuff. And the graphics are amazing. They're just beautiful. These graphics, and like you kill those, they kill those like those zombies or I don't know what they are, of course, but those de the, the enemies, of course, it's just very bloody, of course, and all that stuff. Like, I love the great gameplay, the graphics, the controls, and like I'm excited for oh. Uh, did Doom Eternal came out? I think it did came out, or maybe not. I don't know. But I do want to get that game. I do want to get Doom Eternal. Mm. Anyway, here we go. Next on the pile. Next game, Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume 1. Pinball game. Marvel. Good game. 
Not much to say if you're wondering. But anyway, here we go. Next game, Lego Marvel Avengers. Lego game, if you're wondering, awesome. Uh, I gotta get back into this game. I've not completed it and all that stuff. I did not went back into this game because I have a lot of games, if you're wondering. And like, like there's some games that I'm very addicted on, like Bully, GTA, GTA San Andreas, GTA 5, and all that stuff. And all those good goodies, of course. But Lego Marvel Avengers, good game. Next game. Oh, let me take a sip. I feel, I'm feeling kind of drooly. I'm not drooly, thirsty. Next game, Rise Sun of Rome. It's a launch title from the Xbox One and all that stuff. Good game. I, sh I, I did not complete this game. Like, I'm still in the arena and I don't know why. I gotta get back into this game, but it's, I heard it's pretty short. I like, the, but I, I like the graphics and the controls, but it's a short story, but a short story. It, I know the combat's repetitive and all that stuff, but anyway, here we go. Next game, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, I love the idea of playing two assassins, if you're wondering, this one and this one. Wait, I think, what, what's her name? I know it's Evie, Evie, uh, that, that's the female, and I forgot. I, I forgot the guy. I think it's John or something. I, I don't know what's his name. But two assassins, very great concept. Like they took the idea of GTA, of course, like the uh, playing more assassins if you're ordering and all that stuff. But I love the idea of like you can. I, I just love. I, I know the story. I know the. I know the ending is bad, of course, and all that stuff. But like I enjoyed the, the. I know the combat's repetitive and all that stuff. But but London's few very. Uh, it's like, London's a very big world, if you're wondering, in this game. It felt very big, London, to me, if you're wondering, like... And you recruit your gang and all that stuff. Pretty cool. This is better, way better than Unity, Assassin's Creed Unity. But I love this game. This made an improvement on Unity, but... Anyway, I spoiled it. Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity. Good game! Not as good as Cinecan and all stuff, but like not as good as the other Assassin's Creed games because you know it's glitchy and all stuff. But like I like I like the French Revolution, of course, and all that stuff. I like playing as the assassin and all stuff. But like the thing that I don't like about this game is like you know the the girlfriend of the guy dies in the end. The the ending doesn't feel good and all stuff. And like it's crazy that the guy has a lightning sword, of course, in the end. I don't know why. Is he like a god or something? I always keep predicting myself that. But anyway, next game. Destiny! Good game if you're wondering. I still have the ghost if you're wondering. But I like Destiny. Cool game. Got two. You can get this for super cheap now. I'm so sorry. I literally I ate before and all this stuff. But anyway, here we go. We're gonna do. Let's continue more because I got I got I got a few more. We got a few more games to go on the list right here and all this stuff. You think you're done? I have more right here, if you're wondering. Here we go. Next game, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yep, Call of Duty, better than Ghost, of course. I like the idea of jumping, like, with, like, um, Jetpack or something. I think it's Jetpack. And it's very advanced, of course, but, like, I like the story, of course. I, and it's not as better than Ghost, but not a great Call of Duty, though, but... Not a great, but I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Call of Duty Flooring, but I like it. I like it. Pretty enjoyable. Next game, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Yep, amazing game. I love Gears. I like Gears of War. Not a huge fan of it, but I'm a fan of it. But because, like, it felt kind of weird because they look a little chubbier, the characters and all that stuff. Like, look how they look like. They're chubby. No, so, like, I'm not saying they're fat and all that stuff, but, like, they're chubby. Like, they look weird and all that stuff, but... Marcus Phoenix, he's a cool guy and all stuff. I like the graphics, of course, and the gameplay. It goes smooth, of course. I need to get GT. I need to get Gears of War Five, Gears of War Four, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War Three, Gears of War Two, Gears of War One. I know the ones on the three hundred and sixty, the Gears of War three hundred and sixty games are backwards compatible, baby. And uh, and I think they can I think it comes in with. with it comes in with GT, you know, with Gears of War Four if you get like the Ultimate Edition or something. But anyway, here we go. Next game is Watch Dogs 2. Hacking, all that stuff. It's like GTA, but hacking, all that stuff. I love, I love Watch Dogs 2. I like how, I like, I like San Francisco. I love the graphics, of course, and the controls are improvement and all that stuff based on the first game and all that stuff. Like, I'm, and I can't wait for the third game. 
I'm really excited for the third game. And I hope it does not disappoint me, the third game. But anyway, amazing game. Speak about, speak about Watch Dogs 1, Watch Dogs 1. Good game, but like, the, gr the controls are weird, of course, like, the controls are weird. Not great, though, the controls, but like, not good, the controls, but like, I love hacking, and like, it's very dark, the, the, the story, of course, for like, Aiden Pierce and all that stuff. It reminds me of like, GTA 4, if you're wondering, this game reminds me, like, when it comes to the story, because it's very... It's like very dark and sad and all that stuff, but anyway, here we I just said it, but I like the graphics, of course, and also, but amazing game. Next game, Dead Rising 3. Killing zombies, creating your weapons and all that stuff, creating crazy weapons and all that stuff. And this is another launch title, and this game is amazing. I love this game. I have not gotten yet Dead Rising 1, 2, nor 4, of course, and all that stuff, but Dead Rising 3, amazing game. I love this game. I can play that any day. I can play that any day, any time. Well, I gotta get back into that game. I, I don't think I have completed that game. Something I don't know. Anyway, next game, Halo 5 Guardians. Good game. I like this game. I heard the story is disappointing and all that stuff. I kind of felt like that as well, but like... I like, I like uh, Master Chief and all that stuff and blah, 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 all that stuff. I like the graphics. They're very, they're very good, the graphics, I gotta say. And like, I hope they make a new, I hope they make a sequel for Halo. I have not gotten yet Halo, the Master Chief collection. I have not gotten it yet, but I do want it. Another sip. We'll hold this for last, for later. Next game is Doug Dynasty, Hunt, Race, Prank, Become a Robertson. Okay, game. Okay, game. I like I like more hunting in that game and all this stuff, but like, I don't think the graphics aren't good and all this stuff, man. But I kind of like the idea it's based off the show, of course, and all this stuff, but I never seen the show. Anyway, here we go. Next game, Forza Horizon 3. Awesome game. I love this game. It's an improvement on the second game, if you're wondering. Australia, very big and color. Very big and open. It makes me feel free driving around the countryside and all that stuff. And the car, they have more customization and cars and all that stuff. And I have not gotten yet Forza Horizon 4, and I do want that game. Anyway, next game. And I hope, what, you, what are you guys getting for Christmas? If you're wondering, guys. Oh. I'm wondering what you're gonna get for Christmas because I bet everyone, I bet everyone's excited for Santa. Everyone is excited for Santa. I'm excited for Santa to come here in Christmas. And just only 25 days for Christmas, baby. Anyway, here we go. Next game, Need for Speed Rival, Rivals. Yep, I love this game. I like playing as cop and as a cop and a racer, of course, and all that stuff. I like customizing your vehicle for the racers and all that stuff. Like, it's a good game. It's a good game, an amazing game. I like the graphics though. I've not gotten the new Need for Speed yet, Payback, nor Heat, and anything. But anyway, here we go. Next game, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Awesome game. I love Tomb Raider. Lara Croft is a badass. I love this game. I love this game. I like the graphics and the gameplay, and like, it's just so. It, it's just very dramatic. It's intense. It's like Uncharted, if you're wondering. But anyway, here we go. Next game, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. It's a good game. I thought the graphics are okay and all that stuff. Like, I like the Transformers and all that stuff. And it's pretty cool playing as different tra Transformers. Like, like I don't know. What's his name? Optimus Prime. And I forgot the other Transformers. And Bumblebee and all that stuff. I remember seeing the movies, of course. I think I've seen the first one and the second one. I don't think I've seen the other ones. And I think I think I think I see it a little bit of the third one, I think, or maybe the fourth. I, I'm not exactly too sure, but anyway, here we go. Continue on the list. Next game, Sunset Overdrive. This game's amazing. Awesome game. I freaking love this game. I loved it to death. I can play this anytime. One of my favorite games of all time. If you're wanting like the crazy weapons and like the gameplay and the graphics and it's colorful, of course, and all that stuff. It's just very crazy in this game, and I hope they make a sequel, because I'll just die, because uh, I'm going to die eh, for if they, made a, if they make a sequel. I just hope they make one. 
Hope they make it with some time. But anyway, I love this game. Highly recommend you getting this game. This You can get this game for super cheap now. It's just amazing. I love this game. Oh, this is only on Xbox One. Okay, here we go. Anyway, here we go. Continue. Let's continue on, baby. Next game, the Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Uh, also, name I like, I like Batman. Of course, Batman's my favorite DC character, if you're wondering. Like, it's so, it's like colorful, of course, and all stuff. I like Lego games. They're pretty nice. Even though I'm too old for them. I'm too old for Lego games. Yeah, I don't really mind, but I'm too old for Legos and all stuff. But I play the games and all stuff. I don't know why. Here we go. We, we're down with the uh, last... Last five, if you want to. We're down to the last five. Five more games to go, baby. Here we go. Next game, Mortal Kombat X. Awesome game, bloody. I just love the gameplay, of course. And it's just amazing. This game's amazing, if you want to. I love Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat 11, I did play it, and it was good. Not as good as this. I just love this game. The graphics, gameplay. It's just... Like, the fatalities are the best in this game. They have the best fatal one of the best fatalities in this game. But I highly I recommend you getting this game if you guys don't have it in your collection, baby. Next game is Hitman, the complete first season. I love Hitman. I have not gotten yet Hitman 2, but I love Hitman like playing as an assassin like uh, Agent 47, his name is Agent 47, and like, you know, doing all those missions and all that stuff. And it's pretty cool. I love Hitman. Get this game if you guys want it. I got this game for 30 bucks, but I think it's cheaper now. But anyway, here we go. Next game. Ooh, and this is a triple pack. And this comes with three games. And this is remastered. And this is Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy. Comes with Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and Warped. I've not played... Crash Bandicoot 2 nor Warped, but Crash Bandicoot 1 is an amazing game. I heard I heard this is an amazing compilation. This used to be a, a PlayStation exclusive, but now they brought it over Xbox One and Switch. This is just amazing. Like I just love it's colorful. It's the graphics are just amazing, of course. And like I just love the levels and all that stuff and all stuff. I gotta get back to this game. I remember I used to play this with, with my cousin before. Well, not the one who loves Nintendo and that stuff, but like, if you're wondering, my mom got this game for $15, Black Friday and Target yesterday. Amazing game. Then that, and that's pretty, that's an amazing price. $15, that game. And don't forget, it's still Black Friday for Target, if you're wondering. Make your last, uh, make your last buy, uh, purchases and all that stuff. But anyway, here we go. Last two. Let me finish this off, this drink. Russian. Next game, Battle of the O'Hard Line, the deluxe edition, baby. Oh yeah, Cops and Robbers, amazing game. Like it's very cinematic, of course, and also well, I forgot to explain that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is also cinematic. Also, like the most cinematic Call of Duty game I can I can explain. Also, but like um, this game's amazing if you want like Cops and Robbers and like the graphics and the gameplay and all stuff. It did make up for GTA uh, for Battlefield 4, of course. This game is still. I heard it's disappointing. Also, I, I some people don't like this game and all stuff, but like, I, I like this game. This is a good game if you're wondering, but I enjoyed it. Next, last game, last but not least, Formula One 2015. Formula Formula One racing and all that stuff, and Formula One racing graphics are good, are amazing and all that stuff, but like. Recommend you getting that game. I like racing games. Well, so that is it for my Xbox One game collection right here. And of course, I got five digital games. If you want, to, don't forget my five digital games and all that stuff. But anyway, so that's it for my Xbox One game collection right here. And if you're wondering, guys, I always keep saying this. I consider I always consider Xbox 360 games Xbox One games since like they're backwards compatible and they also play in the 360 and all that stuff. But anyway, here we go interested smash the like and subscribe button to get notified for more great content comment down below if you guys like my collection and all that stuff and you think this is a big collection i got here and all that stuff but anyway but i hope you enjoyed it boys if you're wondering but
Luciano's out. Let's Alice. Sayonara. Bye bye, this. Goodbye, guys. Hope you watch this video.